Oh, hello, y'all. It's me, it's Lester Pips. We's here, we're doing the show. It's the show that's called Apocalypse Tips with Lester Pips. Let me put the thing on the screen. Wow, there it is. We've got such a great show tonight. Oh, my God. I'm talking to so many good people. I am way later on in the show. I'm going to be talking to Mr. and Mrs. Smith, who just uh, are freshly in the Witness Protection Program. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying that, but they told me that that's what they told me. They told me to. So hopefully it's like legally, you know, in the clear. We'll find out. I'm also going to be talking to a pillow for survivalist named Candy McClanahan, who I'm excited to get to know, and a minister named Ulysses S. Turner. But before we can get to all of that, we do have to get to the very important intro song. So... Oh, let's go. Lips tips with Lester Pips is the show that you're currently watching. It's about to start with his amazing guests, and they're gonna tell you how to survive out in the apocalypse. It's apocalypse tips with Lester Pips. Oh, yeah! That's the show. That's what the show is. Apocalypse Tips with me, Lester Pips. Now, you might be wondering to yourself, up in your head, thinking to yourself, who oh, this guy? Why I listen to this guy about apocalypses? What he know? Well, let me tell you. Ah, prior to all them COVIDs being up in the air, which, by the way, they're still up there, but now we figured out how to kill them. So cool. So cool we know how to kill them now. Uh, uh, all these COVIDs up in the air. Days up, they, prior to that, I was going all around the country doing all my best apocalypse tips lectures. I became the world's first, foremost, and potentially only uh, doomsday prep lecturer from the great state of Louisiana. Now, of course, I am down here in the bunker because I did not want to get the COVID up inside my brain. Let it eat my brains one bit by bit. Uh, of course, I, if you have been watching the show for your whole life and you know everything about it, then you know I used to be in a bunker in Louisiana. Now I'm in a bunker in Australia. But look, we don't have to get into all that, okay? Because this show is about the future, not the past. And listen, if you watched last week and you thought to yourself, Wow, did I see a Thruples therapy session that was not supposed to be publicized? Um, yeah, you you did. So, you know, that's my bad. I hit I hit record on what sh and and uh, and stream on what should have just been a private therapy session. So, you know, uh, 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 things happen is all I'm trying to say. But look, now we're back to doing the normal show, okay? Which means I got guests coming up later. If you saw the beginning of this show, this is going to be a repeat. But if you was behind that ad that Twitch does, well, then this is the first time you're hearing this. Coming up later, I'll be talking to Mr. and Mrs. Smith, who just checked into the Witness Protection Program. Ooh, I, ooh we're going to find out what that means. Also going to talk to a pillow for survivalist named Candy McClanahan. It's going to be fun. And coming up in just a moment, real soon, but I do have some other things to get to real. <laughs> Coming up in, in just a couple of minutes, we're going to talk to a minister named Ulysses S. Turner. But right now, I, of course, am, am required as a showrunner to tell you what day it is. It is May 20th, 2021, which, as everybody knows, everybody in the whole world knows, this is a real thing, not something that's at all made up. It is National Be a Millionaire Day. That's true. So, of course, at your homes, you might do whatever you do normally to celebrate uh, National Be a Millionaire Day. I don't know if you're already rich. I guess you probably just continue existing. If you poor, I guess maybe it's like you'd be rich for a day. I don't know. But in New Orleans on uh, National Be a Millionaire Day, we got some specific traditions, okay? On, in New Orleans, everybody makes voodoo dolls of millionaires and tries to get their voodoo dolls to hand over that cash. And, of course, this year the most popular doll is Bill Gates. Uh, in Baton Rouge on National Be a Millionaire Day, uh, whoever catches old man Carruthers' mama gator gets his fortune. And he can't die until somebody gets it. And he's over 400 years old. So you know that's a hard gator to catch. Uh, and, of course, statewide down here in Louisiana, you get a lottery ticket whether you want one or not, bub. And that's actually the law says you get a lottery ticket whether you're not one whether you want one or not, bub. It's got the comma and the bub in there as if it was the Wolverine from the X-Men's. Not that I've seen that. Everybody knows I don't watch TV. Now, listen, if you're here and you're in the chat and you're thinking to yourself, well, I have apocalypse questions. Um, ask them. I would love to answer them. <laughs> it's, that fat. It's, it's, it's that simple. If you're, if, you're, if you're listening to my guests later and you're thinking, well, I have a question for that guest, ask them. And I'll, and I'll read them. Like, look at this. Carrie the Self-Care Fairy is here saying woo. And that's not a question, but I still addressed it. This one is a question. Collectively, 
I'm guessing that's a reference to something that I said earlier, but I don't even remember the words that come out of my mouth. So you're going to have to be more specific. <laughs> um, um, but look, other folks have been, of course, asking me apocalypse questions all week, like they always do. I've never had to make these up. They're all 100% real questions that real people send to me. Uh, and this week, I've got three good ones, like I do every week. Uh, a user named Senaturtle McConnell, huh, that's an interesting name, asks, how do you prevent your legacy from being tarnished before the apocalypse? Oh, um, good question. Well, I guess I guess one way to do it would be like if there was a vote in a voting body that you are in control of or at least have a partially controlling stake in and they were voting on whether or not to investigate your crimes, you could you could try to block that vote. That could be something you could do, Senator McConnell. I'm sorry, I don't usually get political, but this this is a frustrating story. This McConnell guy, right? <laughs> okay, I'm okay. We, this is not a political show. Um, uh, user Bill I am Gates asks, "How do you prevent your legacy from being tarnished before the apocalypse?" Oh, that's the same. Well, look, this is not a political show or a news show, but Billy, I think it's too late for you, man. If that's if that's you, Will Gates, Will Gates is what I call Bill Gates. Uh, if that's you, then too late, bud. You probably shouldn't have. You probably shouldn't have cheated on your wife so much. Uh, and then lastly, user Alanius Musk asks, why does no one want my electric cars? Oh, I think it's because you've like presented yourself as being generally unlikable, Alanius. I don't know why these this week's questions were so topical and news related. It's almost as if my brain has been on a different wavelength for a while now, and I'm writing what I'm thinking about. Now, I do have a question in the chat from Smarmy Swami who asks, what do you pack in your bug out bag? Now, this is a great question, okay? Because you always got to be ready to bug out, okay? So you got to have a bag full of the things that are important to you. This is the same thing that you would do to stock your bunker, Swami Swami. What you want to do is think, what's the most important thing that I want to make sure survives if there's an apocalypse situation? And it is, of course, if you me, and you should be, you should be me. Louisiana culture. So what you want to have in your go bag, in your bug out bag, or your go bag, as Karen self Fury says, what you want to have is the recipe and all the necessary ingredients to Papa's Louisiana chicken spicy chicken strips. Because how else are you going to have a future if you don't have those? I mean, duh. Look, I could go on and on about what's in my bug out bag. It is the recipe. It is all the necessary ingredients. And it is Papa's Louisiana chicken strips. But it's more important that I get to my guests. Way later. You know this already, but I'm going to say it one more time. Wait later, we're talking to Mr. and Mrs. Smith. We're going to be talking to Pillow for Survivalist, Katie McClain. But right now, it's time to welcome a minister to the show, Minister Ulysses S. Turner. Ulysses, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Lester. I appreciate you inviting me onto the show. Uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm going to set my hat over here. Oh, please do. Uh, I bring you greetings. Uh, it is, uh, and so, I'm, to you as well. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, before I get too far, I actually have an apocalypse question for you. Oh, sure. What's up? Well, how can I help you, Minister Ulysses? Lester, my good brother, when the apocalypse is upon us, uh -huh. when just in the twinkling of an eye, yeah. as a thief in the night, the apocalypse sneaks up on you, where are you going when you die, is my question to you. Where am I going when I die? Wow, well, you know, Ulysses, I, I, I can't say that I've spent too much con time contemplating the afterlife because I mostly think about the after apocalypse. But I will say probably since I am the only person fighting for a future with Louisiana, in it, properly represented by, of course, then Papa, I do have to say, I think I'm going to heaven. Now, you think you are going to heaven? If there is one, yeah. All right, you sound unsure. Well, that's good news for me, Lester. That's good news for me because I am a minister. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that's your title. Yeah, I knew that. And I bring you greetings from the, you. I bring you greetings from the New Faith Evangelical Buddhist Church. Whoa, Evangelical Buddhism? Now, okay, oh, yeah. I've heard oh, of yeah. Evangelical Christianity, uh -huh. and I've heard of Buddhism, but okay. to put the two together, that makes me think, are you like 
proselytizing that people sit under trees and, and think about Nirvana? That That's close, Lester. See, let me, I think it'll help if I give you a little backstory. I would love that, yeah. I am, well, the reason I'm here is I'm, plant, mm. I'm planting a church. New Faith Evangelical Buddhist Temple. Whoa. As like a way to cement your legacy into the future, Minister Ulysses at that? Well, see, it's not really about me, Lester. Oh, that's you, a good Le answer. Lester, you, you and me are both Southern boys. You're from uh, Louisiana, as I yeah. understand it. Absolutely, well, I am, as you can I'm tell also, by my very authentic accent. Mm -hmm. I, I, that's what I had pegged you. I'd never heard your speaking voice, but as soon as I heard you get on the, on the, on the show here, I knew you were from somewhere down south near me. I knew we was kinfolk, Lester. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm and from where, just where are you from? I am from, I'm glad you asked. Uh, I am from just up the way in a little town called Natchez, Mississippi. You heard of Natchez, Natchez Mississippi? I sure have, yeah. In, the, in Louisiana, they call that one of the places that you shouldn't go because anywhere that's not Louisiana, you shouldn't be. Oh, I don't know if I like that, Lester. We, you know, we, we try to be kinfolk with all of our brethren because you see the self is an illusion. Whoa. All right. That's what I want you to understand. Whoa. Wait, but I can touch me, though. See, the Christian Bible says, lean not into your own understanding. And Lester, I, I have good news for you because the Christian Bible says that and I really like it a lot. So I'm including it in my Buddhist Bible that I'm writing. Okay, okay. So, so okay. So, are you like a, 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 accumulating all the things that you like about different religions and putting them together and making your own? No, thing? I'm not a pluralist. That is madness. Oh, okay. But I have a very specific mission. Okay. I I have spent 35 years as a Baptist Christian minister. That's a whole life. I have three grandchildren all over the age of 35. Wow, congratulations. That shows you how old I am and how long I've been doing this. Yeah, at least you are at least, let's say, at least 43. No, no, wait, grandchildren. Oh. 63, I think. you got to be 63. At least 63 years old. Okay, I won't ask you your actual age, but we'll just say at least 63. And to be honest, I don't know if I could give you an answer because I, I – I got so far into my into my mission that I lost track somewhere in 1993. Ah, that makes sense. When you are focused super hard on achieving a goal, sometimes the years uh -huh. just fly by. Let like, the church I say, have no church. idea how old I am when I was born and who my parents is. Oh, you're preaching now, Lester. You're preaching now. Let the church say amen. Lester, that's you. You say amen. 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 All right. Now. I was, I spent 35 years, at, at least the lifespan of my three grandchildren, uh -huh. in, in, in the Baptist church, wow. the Baptist Christian church. Uh -huh. And you know, Lester, I got to say, uh, I had a good time in the church. I met a lot of good people. Hats on. I made a lot of money. I'm not going to lie to you, Lester. I made a lot of money. Oh, yeah? I did. Being I in the Baptist a of, church is super lucrative? It can be. If you are a good shepherd of uh, of what the Lord blesses your flock with, uh, I think you can make a lot of money in the Christian church. And, but and let's the Lord bless your flock with a lot of money to give to you. Man, it is National Millionaire Day. What a perfect time to have you on. Yes. Yes. The Lord saw fit. The, the Lord I used to worship saw fit to entrust me with the responsibility of caring for the treasures of that flock. Yes. Yes, he did. But you see, Lester. It came to the t it came about a time when it was in the early 2000s uh -huh. I was between 53 and 62 years old I won't ask for more specific than that and I had the realization that perhaps the treasure perhaps the congregants perhaps the flock that I was looking over ran out of the resources that the Lord entrusted them with. So perhaps my calling was to a different flock. Wow. Oh, so and, if I'm understanding you correctly, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> what you're saying is your 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 sheep kind of your, your sheep kind of ran out of cash, so you decided not to be their shepherd no more. Lester, the Christian Bible says the 
letter of the law takes life, but the spirit of the law gives life. I'm also including that in my Bible, which That's I'm trying line. to get to. Yeah. How much of your Bible is the Christian Bible, by the way? A good portion, Lester, I'm not going to lie, because there is a lot of wisdom within uh -huh. the Christian church. A lot of wisdom that I think Buddhist people can use. And vice versa. I see it as a symbiotic relationship, Lester. But it's not 50-50, though. It's like 90-10. I, I would say it's a little closer to 92-8. 92.8. Oh boy. Okay. All right. That's, hey, that's a lot of Bible. But you know what? The thing about it is, Christian Bible has been pretty successful. A lot of people like it. Hey, if it, and like it says in the Plumber's Bible, if mm -hmm. it ain't broke, don't fix it, which is also <laughs> going into my Buddhist Bible. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, okay. So you said you're not a pluralist, but you are comfortable taking from, from non. Uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 plumbers are a pagan group. Plumbers are pagan. Oh wow! Yeah, they're pagans. So they don't really, it's not really a religion. It's more of a it's more of an occult gathering of plumbers. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how uh, uh, for some folks. Uh, well, now that you said occult gathering, I don't want to say what I was going to say. Please continue. <laughs> Please be candid, Lester. I, I don't. Well, I was I just going to say it's kind of like how some folks think of Judaism as more of a culture than a religion. <laughs> but then you said occult, and I'm like, I don't know if I want to be doing that. Lester, this, perhaps you were right. Perhaps you shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. anywho, uh, it was it, the the year was around 2002. I was between 42 and 62 years old, and I realized that I was being called to a new flock, but a flock that, when presented with the hurdles of being shepherded by such a powerful leader, they uh -huh. would be less likely to flee said responsibility, less likely to put up an opposing hurdle for the shepherd to come in and do what he does. So I have decided to start my own church. Well, really rebrand a Buddhist church into the new faith, Evangelical Buddhist Temple. Okay, so you've taken over a, a Buddhist church uh, 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 somewhere in, and I'm so sorry, I forgot the name of your town in Mississippi. Natchez, Mississippi. Natchez, yes. It's so you've taken over a Buddhist, te Buddhist temple sorry, in Natchez. I don't Natchez. care where it is. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I was going to tell you where it is, but but you don't seem interested in that. No, no, I am curious. Tell me about Natchez, please. Oh, okay, no problem. It's it's just south of Pasagula uh -huh. and just north of, uh, what is that damn town? Gulfport, excuse me. I can never gotcha. remember. I, I can't go back to Gulfport. I haven't been there in years. That's why I can't remember the name. So that's like roughly just east and a little bit north of Shreveport. Exactly. Oh, you know your way around Mississippi. I know my way around Louisiana. Now, uh, uh, <laughs> tomato, tomato, as they say in in the children's books, that is also going into. That, that's tomato, tomato is going in there. Tomato, tomato, tomato you know is going Listen, in Listen, at the beginning of this, you said There's you were a not a pluralist, but it seems like you're, you're drawn from a lot of different texts. If it's if it's 92 percent uh, Christian Bible, 8 percent uh, uh, Buddhism, I'm feeling hey, Lester, you caught me in a mistake. Charge it uh -huh. to my head, not my charge it to my head, not my heart. Okay. Um, sometimes I get confused between the two, between my head and my heart. Yeah. Um it's kind of like that band. Nobody can tell which part's the head, which part's the heart. What band is that, Lester? I only listen the head to and the uh, heart. I only listen to Buddhist gospel music. Yeah, I only listen to uh, uh bad funk, uh bad folk and great blues. So I know about the head and the heart. That's the bad okay. folk. And okay. then I know about all the Louisiana blues musicians. But look, that's not what we tell you to talk about. I, I'm curious. Have you had success with turning this Buddhist temple into, in Natchez, into uh, 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 an evangelical Buddhist church? Are people flocking to you? Yes and no, Lester. I'm glad you, you continued my, my analogy and my metaphor with the flock and them flocking to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> It's been kind of a, a it, the town seems to be of two minds about this, which I understand. It's a it's a new thing to come into your house of worship, and all of a sudden the candles and the altars to Buddha have been replaced with uh, church fans that have Martin Luther King on the front, <laughs> and and an offering altar. I understand that those things yeah. are different. Very different. But you yeah. gotta understand, faith is about compromise. That's true. And if I walk into your house of worship and I'm uncomfortable, who's really at fault there? 
You know what I'm saying, Lester? That's just bad yeah. hospitality. Lester, if you came into my house and you were super uncomfortable, would you ever want to come back? No, I mean, no, I like to be places where I'm comfortable. That's why I hang out. Exactly. In so the onus would be on me as the homeowner in said in said illustration to make you comfortable. That's all so my expectation that that You've got to make your, your, your Buddhist temple comfortable for people who's coming in? No, I am being invited into the flock oh. by, the Lord, by, by the Lord Buddha. He is inviting me to be in charge of that flock. You know how I know? Because I can feel it. So, okay. Deep in my bowels. It's, it's, it sounds to me like what you're saying is you found this Buddhist temple. You walked in. You said, I'm going to make this a Christian temple. And everybody was like, no, please don't. You did it anyway. <laughs> and now you're telling them that Plum is pagan. Lester, there was a vote involved. Oh, okay. There was a vote. It was diplomatic. I, I, I am a stern but fair shepherd of flocks, Lester. There was a vote. Well, I'm glad there to were several, that. Voting, several voting rights are very hard to come by in the South. So I'm glad that you. Uh, I'm glad they you are. They are. We take elections very seriously down there. We don't. We don't go for the tomfoolery. Good. Good. Well, listen. Uh, you got to rock the vote. You got to rock the vote, which and that's is what, what Buddhism is all about. That's what MTV said, and it's going in the Bible. Perfect. These will be available uh, this fall because, you know, this this fall is when the Buddhist calendar ends. So the apocalypse is upon us, Lester. That's why I'm here. Oh, I did not know that about the Buddhist calendar. It, it, it that's they had their own calendar. Uh, it's it's very similar to the Mayan calendar, except you read it going from right to left and mm -hmm. it has all the dates. Wow. Well, that's an all of I got to study up on because I. I didn't know. Now we do have to get to my next guest, but I do have one question for okay. you from the from the chat from Carrie the self care fairy. Carrie the self care fairy wants to know: Would you offer snacks in your home? Would I offer snacks? And I think this refers to the temple. Well, I you know what, Carrie the self care fairy, I would offer snacks uh, if you came into my home. Probably some bread and wine. I was very mm -hmm. shocked to see that. Uh, the Buddhist temple did not already have the, these elements of it readily available. I was very offended. Right. Yeah. They don't really do the body and blood of Christ thing. So that it does. They do now. Mess. They do now. Okay. It sounds like it's not a Buddhist temple. This sounds like textbook, uh, 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 Christian takeover of, a, of an indigenous people. Although I guess Buddhism, it wouldn't be indigenous to Mississippi, but you get it. Listen, we got to get to my next guest. I'm so excited to talk about them. Ulysses stick around, talk to him. Okay. Too. I'm here. I'm uh, here, baby. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Uh, but my next guest is somebody who uh, I don't know if they deal in religion or not, but I do know that they are a pillow fort survivalist named Candy McClanahan. And as soon as I see that they are uh, got their video on and they're ready, uh, they'll be on the stream. Hey, there they are. Candy, welcome to the hi. show. Hello. Thank hi. You so much How are you? Hello, Candy. Hello. Hello, uh, Minister, sir. Hi. All right. Hi. Welcome to my court. Th oh. Thank you. Welcome to to my show, to my bunker. Oh, thank you for having me. What? Well, now, Candy. I mean, you you say that you are a survivalist in a pillow fort. Uh, do you mean that you advise folks on how to build pillow forts to survive, or yes. that you are surviving in a pillow fort? Both. Uh, okay. uh, if the past year has been in any indication of how things are going to go, uh you may not have the opportunity to leave your house to go to a secluded natural location to survive. So I, I have decided to include the introverts and agoraphobes and those who may be housebound in the survival movement. Wow. Well, that's that's great. I love I love the idea of survivalism, reaching out to folks who are having a hard time surviving. That's perfect. Thank you. Yes, yes. And uh, I, I advise on the proper techniques and materials of how to build an uh, internal fort that you can protect yourself inside your house. Fantastic. Well, I, I mean, I, I know what I've done is I dug under the ground and I put in a, like a fully functioning power so you can see that location. And uh, I don't I mean, I do have like a couple of pillows on the cots, but I don't know if it would count as a pillow fort down here. Uh, what well, do you, you do? Can make, you can make a pillow fort in your bunker with uh, mattresses and pillows and sheets. But uh, what we do here at the Pillow Fort Survival Headquarters is Fort Pillow Fort. 
uh, we, we use household objects. As you can see over here, we have a, 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 a yardstick as a support ballast. Over wow. here, we have a Swiffer handle as a support ballast. Uh, you can also use vacuum parts as support ballast. They, they are very useful and sturdy. Of course, with all of these things, physics does come into play. Weight can be precarious, so safety is always the key. Wear your helmet in case of cavids. Very, very smart. Now, uh, I see that you have what looks like quite a plush blanket as the overtop uh, uh, covering on there. Uh, yes. Uh, is it important that the roof be comfortable? Yes, everything about this should be soft. Uh, people who cannot leave their homes for various reasons uh, mm -hmm. probably would not fare well in an outdoor environment or, you know, a, a harsh place. So softness is key. It's key for survival. Wow. I mean, it seems like you're all set up then because I see I'm seeing that soft blanket. I'm seeing a bunch of pillows behind you. Is that is that a is that a is that a stuffed animal friend back there? Yes, you need a friend. You always need it's the buddy system. So oh, definitely wow. bring a buddy with you inside your pillow fort. As you can see, Clarence prefers an animal skin rug. So that's why we got this animal skin rug for Clarence in the back. Also, another essential part of the pillow fort is the Christmas lights, as you see, to create ambiance and warmth. Nice. Can, uh, excuse me, Lester, can I ask a question? Please do, yeah. Candy, uh, how old are you? <laughs> I am 47. Oh, okay, 47. How long have you been in the game? Uh, I have been inside for 30 years, which is why my skin looks so good. Oh, that's 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 very interesting. That makes sense. Yeah, both of you, uh, both of you appear uh, uh, younger than you are, which you know, uh, good for you. You're doing well. On that, I I, I can understand. I think I hear some of you in the in TV land saying, "Well, Candy, this looks like it requires electricity," and in an apocalypse, where would you get electricity? Great well, question. sometimes you do have to leave your house. Uh, Generators do not do well inside, especially gas-powered ones, as I found out this past year. Uh, it can get the exhaust fumes will cause problems with your neighbors. Uh, uh, yeah, but uh, what if there's a zombie apocalypse and there are zombies between you and your generator? Or maybe monsters from another dimension or aliens mm -hmm. from another planet. There are all sorts of different scenarios that can lead to an apocalypse. And uh, my advice always is to get a machete. Oh, wow. For survival. Oh, that is a very sharp looking knife. Yes, but she is soft in very many ways. For example, I have named her pumpkin spice because her handle is orange and wow. I have added these decorative dongles, one which I have crocheted myself, and the other which features a butterfly. Well, those those do look very nice and, and, and soft in a way. But I, I gotta say, I feel like the blade violates your everything must be soft rule. No, 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 no. What what once again, she's my friend. Uh buddy system going outside, pumpkin spice comes with me. And uh you have to treat your friends nice. So don't forget, when gripping a machete, you want to use a grip pinch grip technique, which means do this with your hands, not overlap them. Put your index finger in the middle. Prevent you from gripping the machete too tight and forming blisters. Wow, that's that's. I mean, that's very good advice. Surprisingly, uh, I did not expect to hear uh, uh, machete advice coming from you. That I mean, but it's good that you know that. Have you? I mean, I don't. Can I, Lester? Can I ask another question? You, please do, Candy. Uh, so, to, just to clarify, you do in fact have a house that this fort is within, correct? Yes. Yes, of course I do. Yes. And do you live I alone? I have not left my house for thirty years. Yes. And you live yeah. alone. Uh, uh, with two cats, of course, yes. And cats. Clarence and Pumpkin Spice. Clarence being a stuffed turtle and Pumpkin Spice being a machete. Now, uh, so so you haven't left the house that you're in 
in 30 years. Uh, uh, J. Elijah Cho in the chat asks, 30 years? So she's been inside since she was 17? Is that true? Yes, I, I was emancipated at 14 uh, and, uh, and, uh, and moved into the basement without mm -hmm. my family's knowledge uh, until I, I was uh, kicked out a few years later. But in, I had been embezzling money for most of my childhood, so I was able to purchase a house. Oh my gosh! Well, that that's very industrious childhood living. Thank she's you. been she's been in that fort almost as long as I was a Baptist minister. <laughs> that is true. You both have surprising timelines. Now, uh, uh, now, now, Candy, uh, uh, forgive me if this is too personal, but what happened at seventeen that made you want to stay inside for the rest of your days? Well, is it? Did you it was summertime. Yeah, and it was it was hot outside, and I got too close to the sprinkler, oh, uh, and it blinded me, and I fell in the grass and got contact dermatitis. Oh no, not contact dermatitis. Ugh. That makes you seem. I crazy. had been avoiding the grass for seventeen years because I knew something like that would happen. Yeah. And lo and behold, contact dermatitis. I mean, that is reason enough to want to stay inside for the rest of your life. You can't be risking getting a little grass on you and being itchy. I have paved the entirety of my lawn. There is no grass within a 40 foot radius of my house. And luckily, the generator is within a 20 foot radius as was recommended by the manufacturer's instructions. Did, did you have to go outside in order to pave the grass over? Oh, no, 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 I hire people to do that. The oh. internet's a wonderful thing. The past, the beginning was very difficult staying inside, but, uh, mm -hmm. but recently it's been much more uh, easy for me. Wow, I mean, I imagine that that would take quite a bit of funding to get a whole lot. Uh, uh, I embezzled uh, money throughout my childhood and wisely invested. That's great. I was going to ask about that embezzling, in fact. Uh, I'm How's your crypto uh, portfolio right now? Very <laughs> yeah, healthy. You, surprisingly healthy for the state of the market. <laughs> you right, didn't go heavy with that? Doge, then. You got to... No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, you got, no. You got to buy the dip and sell the tip. That's also going in the Bible. It's also going in. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, I guess the Bible will be useful in, in the Bitcoin universe. Oh, it's uh, always but, useful. But, but Candy, I, I, you know, did, did, you, um, did you tank your family's business doing all that embezzling? Of course. Oh, okay. You just come to it then. I guess it sounds like your, your family wasn't too cool to you. Uh, they, I serve, I, I'm alive. So they did their job, I suppose. I guess so. You know what? Uh, a point, point made, point taken. You're absolutely right. You didn't die, so they did their job. Um, now, Candy, I'm I'm curious. Uh, uh, you do you? How do you? How do you see your future playing out? You know, you're 47. Are you looking for a life that's uh, entirely in this tent, in this pillow fort by yourself, or or what are you looking for for your future? The apocalypse. I'm looking forward to that. Oh. I'm all set up here. This past year has made things even more convenient. I'm completely set up. So when the apocalypse happens, uh, I'll be even more alone than ever. Wow. Wow. And I mean, a lot of my guests come on here and they say, I'm trying to avoid the apocalypse. I want to make sure that the, the, that the apocalypses don't happen. Or I'm trying to make sure that something I love makes it into the post-apocalypse. Like me with my papa. But it sounds like for you, it's all about just solitary living. Candy, can I tell you a secret? You're sure. not alone. You're not alone. Oh, no, I don't. You're not alone. Organized religion. What about disorganized religion? Yeah, because it is very because it's very it's very split right now. We're very it's very chaotic uh, at the temple right now. Oh, I don't believe in God. No God can be so cruel as to create humanity. Yes, but what about Buddha? What about Buddha? 
I prefer margarine. <laughs> oh, that's very funny. I just got that. That's going in the book. That's going in the Bible. It's going in. <laughs> By Candy. Fantastic. Well, Candy, I do have another guest to get to. Uh, well, of course. Uh, uh, oh, would, would you be cool sticking around? I know you like being alone, but I got two more people to bring on the show. Oh, no, I'm fine right now. I've got about 20 more minutes of social time before anything bad happens. Oh, before anything bad happens? Yes. What, what are we, what, what, what bad? You don't want me to elaborate. Okay, well, I hope we don't find out by the end of the show. Uh, now, my next guests are two people who you may have heard of, or you may not have, but I, I have. <laughs> that's, that's a segue right there. They are Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and they, well, I mean, they're fresh into the witness protection program, and as and here they are, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Welcome to the show. Lester. Oh, my God. How are you? Lester, how are you, How kid? are you? Oh, my God. You're doing okay. Doing okay. Yeah. Good to see you. Good it's to good see to see you, you so kid. good to see you, too. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, I, it's, it's unbelievable to talk to people. You know, we've been talking to people for a very long time. So long, we yeah. jump We jump from podcast to podcast, We and we go from, from talk show to talk show just to to let people know that we're okay, that we're here. We're still in witness protection. Okay. And we're still going at it. We're going strong. Yeah, you know, I was very surprised by uh, uh, by your email to me when you said, uh, I would really like to be, I would really like it to be known that I am, of course, in witness protection, you said. And then, uh, 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 and then Mrs. Smith, you responded, yes, me too. I would also like it to be known that I'm in witness protection. And I just... I mean, listen, I love that you want to be forthcoming like that, but I am concerned because I feel like witness protection, the whole point is to not be known. Oh, oh my God. Okay. So you want to know about the murder. Uh, we understand. We'll we're tell you about the murder. We're here to talk all about the murder. We, we can talk we, all we about it. We love talking about the murder. Okay. Okay. So, well, I didn't ask, but I do want to know. Please tell me. It was, it was, we were, we were in New York. We were in New York. We were on a balcony. Right. We were on a balcony. It was, it was a day. It was a day. It was a day. It was a day. Yeah. Was a day. Yeah. We were, we were 17. We were 17. <laughs> yeah. Yes. This was, this wow. was uh, 25 years ago. This is, this was my big way to ask her to the prom. Yes. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Yeah. And you went, you went out onto the balcony to ask, to ask her to prom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I took a, a big fancy it dinner. Was, it in was Hell's a big kitchen. fancy dinner in Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, we yeah. we took the we took Gordon the train Gordon and... Gordon was there, of course. Gordon Ramsay. Of was course, there, Gordon Ramsay was there. Was there. Was there. And uh, while while we were up on the rooftop having a little having a little toast and some hors d'oeuvres, oh, who comes along? Who comes along, Mister Maitre D? Mister Maitre D. Mister Maitre D. Okay. Mister oh. Maitre D. And you know who uh, you know who Mr. Maitre D was coming after? I, I have no idea. His ex girlfriend. His ex girlfriend. His ex girlfriend. His ex girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. And you want to have a sex? They get in a big fight. Huge fight. Little do we know. Little Huge fight. do we know that this fight was going to lead to the Versace, the the Versace gang showing up. We all know about the, the yeah, the, the Versace. The Versace gang. Yes, yes. The yes. gang that uh uh that stole their name from Gian Gianni Versace uh, and famously kills people who wear fancy clothes. Oh, yes. Famously. 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 So of course, of course. Yeah. This couple is both wearing Dior. They're both uh -oh. wearing Dior, you know, competitive you know Versace. Everybody knows you don't wear Dior in Versace gangland. No, of course not. Of course not. And and as as one table is asking for the bill, of mm. course, everyone who works there, their back is turned. Their back is turned to the action. Yeah. Who goes over the balcony? Oh, he's, uh, we saw Mr. Maitre D. Mr. Mr. Maitre, Mr. Maitre, D. Mr. Maitre D. And guess who saw it? You saw it. Saw it. We, saw, we should not we, be telling we you should this. Not, we should not we be telling you that. Be telling you, you, you gave so many no. specific details that any Versace gang member who's looking for you to... Look, if you start asking... Girl. Listen, I know you're going to ask for details about what we saw. We can't we tell you. We can't talk details. about the details. We but, about but I will say, the maitre d' that night, you know, he wasn't. He was, he was doing a pretty subpar job. You know what I mean? There was a lot of upset customers that night. So... Uh -oh. Honestly, he had a lot of he had a lot of enemies on the floor. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? A lot of mm -hmm. enemies. Could have been anyone. 
Well, and, then, and he just confronted his ex-girlfriend, so it seems like. I mean, I don't want to relitigate this murder. I assume that since you're in witness protection, the trial. Mr. Well, well, Beyonce was also having a birthday party there for her daughter mm -hmm. for Blue Ivy. Beyonce? She was having a birthday party for Blue Ivy. Big oh, night. You didn't hear from us. I did. I did, but I won't tell anyone. Well, well, let's just say. Let's just say, yeah. they were having a party. People were uh -huh. a little upset. Because they weren't getting the dessert floats that were promised to go over to the table. You have to get those on time. Got to get them on time because it's it's a chocolate ball. If it melts not in the right amount of time zone, you know, it, it, it leaks out the sides and it's not delicious. So. Sure. We should not be telling we you We shouldn't this. be telling these details. We no should, one we knows okay this. To tell me about the dessert. I think the dessert part is okay. No, we should, no. Be, we should not be no, telling you We cannot these tell details. these details. No, we like on it. Sworn I, you know, to secrecy. Sworn no, to sworn to secrecy. Uh, we're in we're in Tulsa now. Oh, you yeah, should not be saying that. Uh, oh, it's but, so windy here. Yeah, it's really windy. It's in so Tulsa. windy here. Um, lots of sunshine and wind. Yeah, sunshine wow. and wind. That's what they. I think that's in. I think that's in the movie, right? Oh, Oklahoma, where the sun shines and With there's the lots wind. of wind. Okay, so you are going to specify which Tulsa? Okay, great. That's that's. Listen, you guys, I'm I'm very nervous for you because uh, I, of course, you know, I know who my who my listenership is, and the Versace Gang is one of my main sources of followers on the show. Is that right? Oh my God, which one? Yeah. Which one? Which Versace? Uh, um, uh, 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 Lee, Lee, Lee Roy Versace is always listening to the show. And um, and I've seen him posting on Twitter about how many other Versace gang members he gets to listen to the show. He was there that so night. Lee, was, Lee, Roy was at, Lee Roy was at Beyonce's birthday party. He was? Oh, no. He was there. Just saying, he, he, was, he, was, he, was, he was maybe a plant, I don't know, but he was involved. We saw it, but we can't talk about not it. Not allowed to talk not about it. Not allowed to talk about it. But we shouldn't but, say anything. But <laughs> he was gone for 15 minutes during the desserts when the maitre d' was thrown off the balcony. I'm just saying. Just saying. Wow. Now, if I'm understanding the story correctly, you, you were on the balcony when this happened, too. Of course. Oh, yeah. We saw everything. Oh, yeah. But we can't but say it. We can't anything. talk about it. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, listen, I know you can't tell any details of the story, but uh, Carrie the Self Care Fairy does have a question, which is uh, what was Gordon's special that night? Oh, lobster risotto with a saffron. It was. It was perfect. Oh, cooked. It was perfect. Cooked perfectly medium. Have you ever had a risotto? You know, I haven't. I pretty much only eat Baba Zuzi chickens by. Say that, uh, say that one more time for me. Papa, do you need to chicken strip? So, well, let's do that one more. Let's give it one Papa, more. Papa, do you need to chicken strip? There we oh, go. Oh, okay. There yeah, it wasn't go. a Tuesday. No. Wasn't a Tuesday. No, no. So, um, yeah, his his saffron order comes in on Saturday. He calls it Saffron Saturdays. Saffron Saturdays for Gordon. <laughs> okay, so now we know when, where, who... <laughs> And what for this murder? Which I I feel like it's a lot of details to be putting out there. But, well, you know uh, what, Lester? It's interesting you ask. Right before this, we had a condo in uh, just outside of Miami, Florida. Uh, right before that, we were in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, and then before that, we were in Jacksonville, Florida, once again. Yeah. Uh, wow. we, they, we they they we just we tried to c confuse them is we, what the FBI thought yeah, was we, best. We like, we tried yeah. really hard, and we also we witnessed multiple more more murders along the way. Yeah. So oh, yeah. Oh, every city we, city went, we to, went to, we, we witnessed, witnessed another murder. From the Versace so they gang. kept having to put us in another witness protection. Yeah. So yeah, you don't think the Versace gang is trying to track you down and killing people oh, in the round? No, you? of course not. Of course no. not. No, uh, that couldn't be. No, we're not paranoid. No, 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 no. We're not. We're not like that. <laughs> okay. Well, it sure sounds like it might be possible. I, I mean, I, I, I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth here, but it does sound like uh, you got some gang members following you around from the Versace gang, and they're definitely going to know where you are because they listen to this podcast. Oh. <sighs> I don't be. I don't see it being an issue. I, I don't, don't see, I it, don't being see it being an issue. No, we were just on. Uh, 
we were just on Jimmy uh, Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> and, uh, we were telling him the whole story. The whole story. We told we, the whole story uh, multiple times. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we did it. Well, we saw that. it. I saw that. I saw that episode. You guys were really funny. Yeah. Oh, it was oh, a thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, it was such a blast. Yeah. It was such a we blast. We had a great time. You know what's interesting? Blast. Can I say? Can I say? Of course. Jimmy, he's shorter than you think. Like three really? inches. He's three inches so, shorter. However short you think he is. Just subtract, subtract three, three inches. inches. That's and that's his exact. Yeah. So yeah. if you think wow. he's six three, he's six foot. If you think he's six foot, he's, he's five, five, ten, nine. 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 Five, nine. Five, yeah. five, it's nine. confusing. This is crazy because I thought he was 5'11", so I guess he's 5'8". Yeah. It's cr There you go. 5'8", yeah. It's insane. It's wild. It's insane. It's also, wild. the charcuterie board, oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. They have several different types of cheeses. They Manchego. Camembert. Chamomile tea on the side. Goat cheese. <laughs> That's, That's a good list. list. Yeah, yeah. That's a good yeah, list. That's a good charcuterie board. Not a lot of charcuterie boards come with a side of tea. But I love it when no, they do. No, I no, love no, no. This do. was a special thing. It was it was tea Thursdays. It was yeah. tea Thursdays, yeah. Yeah. A lot of a lot of themed days in your lives, which is great. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, we have vision boards and we, we love oh, to yeah. put themes on our vision boards. We're like, mm -hmm. what should we do this week? Oh, beach week. Everything's beach themed. Everything. Everything. Now, I don't mean to to stir up any trouble here, but it does seem like you're currently in disguises, but you're standing, you're sitting in front of pictures of yourselves, not in disguises, all over your wall. So if anybody was to oh try to God. spot who you really are, they could so easily do it. embarrassing. No, so no, embarrassing. that's- uh, These are all pictures of our nieces and nephews. These are our nieces and nephews. All of them, oh, yeah. Every yeah. one of them. Especially, especially uh, this one. This is our niece that's and That's our niece and nephew. <laughs> Uh, they like <laughs> it's, it's super fun. Yeah, they're fun. You know, like they they have they're very close. They're very close. Yeah, that yeah. that's very clearly your nephew kissing your niece on the face. Well, yeah, uh, I mean, they're just like they're just sort it of was, having uh, a nice day. A, they had a very fun day. They found out that their mother didn't have cancer. So yeah, oh, that's, well, that's just start of a that's fun that's, day. That's so. I'm so glad to hear that one of your sisters does not have cancer. That's that is great news. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We are too. Yeah. So, Lester, <laughs> yeah. Lester, can I ask you? Can Please. I ask you? How are you? Oh, that's the question. I'm. That's the whole I'm, question. I'm, I'm pretty solid. Yeah, I'm pretty solid. You know, I I just had a uh you know an interesting conversation with both my wives and our marriage counselor last week. Uh, that I accidentally broadcast out, but if anybody was watching, you know that the solution to our marital problems is we do have to bring Idris Elba into our relationship. So I'm I'm trying to figure out how to make that happen. Um, what else? No, that's pretty much it with me. Uh, yeah, other than that, I'm pretty good. Oh, hold on, we we lost you there for a second. <laughs> the computer oh, really? gave out on us. Hold on, you oh, can see us. You can. See, yeah. You can see us, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, still see you. Okay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. There okay, we go. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. Okay. It's okay, sometimes good. that happens if someone's trying to track our coordinates. Yeah. We just oh, can't. I have, so? I have a question. Yeah. Uh, do, you, do you have a dedicated sofa that you bring with you from house to house? Or do you get new furniture in each house that you go to? So that's a very good oh, question. Yeah. So have you, have you ever heard, have you ever gone camping? Uh, no. Okay, Inside. Okay. I am kind of now. Well, you might know something about this then. We have something called uh, Crazy Creek Chairs. They're these little, uh, there's these, there's these little things that just, they kind of unfold and you hang out in the back. It's meant to go around a campfire, but we just take those, <laughs> we take those with us. Because a lot wow. of the places, the, the FBI actually sets it up for us that are actually very furnished. And every place has been very uniquely different, which is interesting as far oh, yeah. as decoration and decor. Yeah, lots of lions. 
Yeah, we got a like lot of lions. Sculptures, sculptures. <laughs> lot lot of sculptures. Every place has been really different, but all of them have some kind of lion sculpture. Oh, yeah. it's like the clear. Okay, if you ever want to find someone who's in witness protection, just look for a sculpted lion. That's yeah. all you have to do. If there's a sculpted lion behind the property, in front of the property, on the on the on the hey, the mailbox, you wanna, you wanna that means know, they're in witness protection. You want to know? You want to know who's in witness protection? The fucking Queen I, of England. I'll tell you that much. Those, we didn't say to her for bus, but she was she was at Beyonce's birthday party. You ever been to Buckingham Palace? She was at Beyonce's birthday party. I'm just saying. <laughs> wow. I mean, listen. I, I was thinking to myself, they probably shouldn't be saying this lion thing. But then I'm thinking to myself, the FBI shouldn't be marking houses like that. They shouldn't be marking off the witness. This is on them, not on you. It's, exactly. It's you didn't strange... hear it from us. You didn't hear it from us. You yeah, didn't no. hear it from us. No one heard it from us. Wow. So, so I'm sorry. The Queen of England was at that dinner as well. Oh, Beyonce's birthday oh, yeah. party. Yes, yes. I mean, there were a lot of people there. It was. I mean, obviously Gordon, obviously Beyonce, the Queen of England, uh, Adam Levine. Adam Levine was there. She <laughs> and, loved. Uh, oh yeah. Huge fan. She's a uh, huge fan of Adam Levine. Also, Adam Devine. Adam Devine. <laughs> which that was a hoot. Adam yeah. Driver. Adam Driver was there. Wow. Uh, Adam Brody. Adam Brody. Oh, Adam Brody. Haven't seen him in years. He was so great. And then you know who else was there? Was Idris Elba. Really? Yes. Oh, he was. Are you still in touch with him? Because I really just I just dropping off Rachel McAdams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. He didn't stay to hang out. He did not stay to hang out. He just dropped off Rachel McAdams. Well. And Amy bad. Adams was also in the car. Them. Amy Adams and Rachel McAdams, they carpooled. Those two you didn't hear from us. You didn't hear that. No, 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 I didn't. Well, this is amazing. How did how did two 17 year olds end up at the same restaurant while this was all going on. I mean, did you have rich? Uh, did you come? Do you come from like very wealthy families? Oh, no. Oh, oh my god. No, 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 no not, not at, at all. all. Not no. at all. Not at all. We're child stars. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not realize. I mean, I know you're in disguises, but I figured I would be able to recognize child stars. I mean, I don't, I don't want to get you in any danger, but. Uh, I we were in know. we were in the uh, the Canadian version of Full House. Uh huh. <laughs> what was that? That called? explains it the Canadian accent. It was called was Full Hoose. Full Hoose. <laughs> um. Yeah. That's we what were I thought. we were the neighbors. Uh, we would just <laughs> pop in every now and then and say hi to the kids. Gotcha. Gotcha. The neighbor kids, of course. Yeah. So yeah. We, we we met on that show uh, and uh, became very wealthy. It did very well for three seasons. We got mm. immensely overpaid. Yes. Now, did they did they recently reboot the Canadian version as well? Oh, we we we're still hoping. We're yeah. still hoping. I mean, I heard there, there. We heard a rumor. We heard a rumor that there are scripts out there for Fuller. Okay, Hoos. so Bob Saget was also at Beyonce's birthday party, and we heard they might be rebooting. Because Bob the Saget Canadian, is in the Canadian he's version too. Canadian. Yeah, he's 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 the dad in both versions. He's the dad in both versions. <laughs> Bob Saget is the hardest working man in Hollywood. He was taking he was taking a jet overnight. He would film American Full House, then go to Canada, do Canada Full House, and fly back in the morning, do the whole now, thing. Again. Was he the same character on both shows? Absolutely. Yes. The only difference was in one version he wears shorts a lot, and the other version he wears pants. So wow. the difference is not that he's Canadian. <laughs> nope. He's <laughs> an interesting choice. Well, the, here's the thing. In the Canadian version, Full Hoos, uh, he's still the dad. However, the entire family is aware that he has another family <laughs> in San Francisco. Oh, <laughs> so it's okay. kind of like an alternate universe for the Canadian version, but the American version knows nothing about it. Yeah. Honestly, oh, we shouldn't oh. be talking about it. This is, this is a huge... This is. Oh, 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 I thought you meant that in the Canadian version, there's a case of infidelity and he has two families and they're aware of the situation. Oh, I see. I, that's a good idea. Is that, not what, you you we is that not what I was saying? I thought that's what you were saying. Wait, what is infidelity again? <laughs> That's when there's a uh, 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 sexual congress or otherwise uh, uh, outside of the marital bound. Oh, he had yes. two families. So I'm, yeah, 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 yeah. I, 
you said infidelity. My mind. He thought you said infertility. Infertility. <laughs> infertility like, yeah. How does he have three kids here if he's infertile there? Yeah. <laughs> But yes, infidelity was for sure in full swing. Absolutely. In full house. Wow. That's, that's wow. why it's a full house. That's why it's a full house. Full house. Well, this is a this is a, an amazing story, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You uh, you you two have lived such such rich lives. All all four of you really have lived rich long lives, and I, I I'm I'm happy Thank to you. have had you on the show. Uh, we are coming up on the end of it, so I do have uh, just one more question for y'all, and that is, that's actually a two part question. First part. Anything that you want people to find on the internet? Second part, any last words of advice for my listeners at home? Well, this is to you first, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Oh, absolutely. Oh, on the internet. On the internet. Oh, if you want to look something, okay. Google Versace murders. And full hoose. Full hoose, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. No relation to the Angelina Jolie movie no. at all. Oh, yeah, we want to be and very. When I saw that, that. You, you were coming on as Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I did think that that's what that was going to be about. But no, please continue. But uh, you know, and then and then, uh, if you want to find more information, you know, follow follow the 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 handles uh, on your screen there. Uh, just, just a couple of. They're not our real names. Not, no, no, no. It's no, another, no, 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 yeah, no. These it's are another. not our real names. It's, no. Yeah. No, no. And that is that is at R K Coil C O I L and at Allison with a Y dot Grace dot Phillips for those That's who listen correct. and not watch. Now, what um, was the what was the second the second part? part was any advice for my listeners at home? Oh, Last words yeah. Of, course, real of quick, course. real quick stuff. Of course. Do you have advice? Oh, do you have advice? I have advice. Okay. Um, if you ever watch the movie Sleepless in Seattle, mm -hmm. and you get to the scene where he's talking about his late wife, and he's talking to the, the radio station, and he said, uh, <laughs> what's remarkable about your wife? And he says, she could peel an apple in one long swoop. Don't then try and do the same thing uh, because you may end up hospitalized for just uh, a few hours with a uh, with with another person's thumb now on your thumb. Oh, and no one God. wants that. And I'm also, so the that other happened. piece of advice is if someone tells you to watch the movie in Estella, don't. <laughs> That's good advice too. That's good advice too. Well, thank you, thank you both so much. Now, uh, I have the same questions for you, Candy McClanahan. Anything that you want folks to find online? Any last words of advice for my listeners at all? Uh, uh, advice? Yes. Um, when when you're when you're uh, swinging your machete, you want to go at forty five degree angles in alternate uh, directions so that you create a gap in the wood. And that will reduce the risk of having your machete stick in the wood or the zombie or the monster or the alien. That is, that's fantastic advice. I personally never swung a machete, so this is news to me. And then anything that no pumpkin spice. No pumpkin spice. Any, and then is there anything that you want folks to find on the internet? Uh, you could look at the death of Marat. Uh, on Instagram, that's a that's a that's a fun Instagram. Good advice. Good advice. Uh, same questions for you, Mr. Ulysses S. Turner, and thank you again, Candy, for being on the show. Ulysses, anything yes. you want folks to find online? Any last words of advice for Lesnar? No? Oh, Lester, I would like for everyone who is under the sound of my voice to find inner peace, to find that path of peace and walk it. Mm -hmm and to reach enlightenment or burn in Christian hell. And God will be very <laughs> upset with you. Um, but that's it, that's really it. Okay. Uh, and then of course they could maybe check out us on the DJ if they wanted to. They could do that. They could do that. I wouldn't be mad at that. Okay, all right. Well, uh, thank you so much for being on the show, Minister Youth Attorney. Thank you again, Candy McClanahan, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I, of course, am at Lester Pips on all the things. My publicist is at Ezra Party on Instagram, at Ezra Parter on Twitter. Uh, he is promoting this other show called at Fake News underscore Comedy, which you should follow on TikTok. And I do want to say 
stick around because the show that's next is starting right now. And it's Please Talk to Me with Ali Ramirez. So I hope you enjoy. And now is the time for us to leave the Pack Theater Twitch and then play the outro song so that the YouTube doesn't not have it. So that's what's going to happen now, where we just kind of casually leave the That internet. was the show, now we did it. You know how to survive an apocalypse. So now we're going to talk about saying thank you to you. Thank you for watching the show. And thank you to these guests for doing the thing for YouTube tonight or today. And also thank you to the Pack Theater for hosting. Now it's time to say, get out there, survive. And make humanity proud. You can find the show at Lester Pips on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, you can also find all the video archives on EzraParker.com slash Lester Pips. So please like and subscribe and all those things.